Totally new experience and I am so surprised kid. we don't have a system like this back in US because they just like really comfortably on their phone or they're even taking a nap. We feel very safe. Right. 안녕하세요 여러분. 미국에서 온 아민입니다. 오늘은 우리 엄마랑 페리입니다. 피티입니다. 아버지랑 같이 코스코 갈 거예요. I mean it's cold. Let's go. <laughs> it's very cold. We don't use the uh, subway in Los Angeles. Usually we drive cars, right, Dad? Over there. Mostly, cars. yeah, mostly most we use, everybody use cars most, most of the time. All right, so this is the entrance. Ah. Let's see what awaits us. Let's go, let me see. Oh my gosh, it's so see. deep. Yeah, this is way under the ground. Right, right, right. This is exciting. <laughs> We're about to get on the subway, but the first thing we have to do is charge our card. So I think that'll be interesting. So we have to get the subway card? Every time we have to get a subway card? No, uh, you get one card that's reusable, uh -huh. and so you can just recharge it every time it runs out. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. It's kind of, it looks like a debit card. Oh, okay. What is, how do we do? Oh, what do we do now? How do we do this? Okay, yeah. So we have to charge the card, so just press English. Uh -huh. And then you go to charging. So you press charging. You put the card here. It's the charging pad. And then, so we have Manwan, right? 10,000, so we press 10,000. And then we put it here. Really. That's it. So easy. Now it's charging. Done. Do you want to try to use yeah, it? Yeah, so let you learn. So how, how would I go? I just first English. put the English. Right. And then, and then uh, charging. Okay. Doesn't matter. The and then just down there. Oh. oh, that was easy. Let's go. That was really easy and interesting to use. Very convenient. I am so happy you teach me. It's a very clean subway. It is very modern and it's very clean. I'm impressed. Yeah, why all the doors are dark? Sometimes there can be, for example, someone who is drunk or maybe small children. This prevents them from falling on the tracks. Like many countries, they don't have this type of protection system, but in Korea, have this so that like people are safe, you know? Oh, that's, very that's so smart. smart. Yeah. Yeah, very smart things to do. Why do they have a sign for handicapped That's like a seat they have for handicapped people. So all the handicapped people can go here and... All the subway has um, handicap or or different subway? No, all like subways in Korea a have a handicapped seating and also I've seen, I believe all subways also have seating for pregnant women. Yeah. So it's a reserved seat for pregnant women or also like elderly people. Yeah, they really think about, you know, other people here. That's really nice. Because most of the time, sometimes the subway is really crowded. Mm -hmm. But for them that have to have a special seat, like a pregnant woman or older people. Right. Otherwise, they would just be jammed in with, especially during rush hour. Right. Uh -huh. right? There's so many people, so. That's a good idea. Very smart. That monitor tells us where the train is. Uh -huh. So it's coming to our station. Um, should be. But does that say in English too? Because like I don't know Korean. Yeah, so it changes. So uh -huh. right now it's in English, right? Okay. It tells you that express train is coming. Have you taken the subway in LA? I don't think we really use the no, subway, right? No, don't. So this is like a totally new experience for you, right? Totally new experience and I am so surprised, kid. We don't have a system like this back in US because... I mean, we do in New York. We have a subway yeah, in system. in New York, but... In, in LA, everyone yeah, drives. Yeah, but I mean, like, we live in Orange County and sometimes you have to go to Los Angeles. Uh, the traffic is disaster. I mean, if we had a subway, we could get there so fast. True. And save for pollution because so many cars. I mean, because everybody has one car. Right, to, at least. At yeah. least. This is, this is oh, so unique. Oh, so what is the noise? I think this means that our train is coming. Yeah, so you can even see ready? on the screen that the train is coming to this station, Jumi. Uh -huh. So in other words, if uh, you cannot... So in other words, if you're late on the subway, when you hear that noise, you just gotta run. Right, you gotta run get ready to, to get, get on the get on the train. Okay. On board. This is smart too. Oh, it has a number. What is the number for? 
so and the line that they have. There's an application that allows you to figure out, depending on the car that you're riding on, like the subway car, uh -huh. you can figure out which door is going to be closest to the exit. So some people that, in a, that are in a rush, they look at that and then they calculate where they should be so that when they get off the subway, they can get to the exit as soon as possible. So that's why the, the, there's no different numbers. So ev every car has a number per door. Okay. So these are all entrances, obviously. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Yeah. I mean, what about all this writing? What is it? This is actually a poem. If you're bored and you're just waiting for the train, it gives you something to read while you wait. Okay. Can you read this for me? Uh, Isure Shigan by Kim Yun Hwan. 내가 누군가를 지우는 동안 누군가는 나를 두리며 살았겠구나. So what does it mean? Yeah. That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I can read it, but I don't know what it means. Give me some time. I'm going to study a little bit more Korean and I'll come back to you with an answer about this. Okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you see the train behind us didn't stop, right? It yeah, just what? passed through. That's an express train. So it doesn't stop at every station. Are commuting like a long distance and they need to be there in a relatively fast amount of time. They will usually hop on an express train. Because okay. the regular train stops at every station, so it takes forever, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we are going to take a regular train. Regular train, because mm -hmm. we need to transfer stations. And I don't think the express train stops there. So. And the charge is the same for both? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You just scan your card when you come in to the station, and then you transfer, but when you leave to go out of the next station that you arrived at, that's when they charge you. So if you transfer, it's free. Oh, okay. So what do you think about the inside of the station? i seen it clean. i also seen almost everybody using their phone. Some people are sleeping. Best way to kill time, right? Take a nap. That's it's true. safe here, so if yeah, you take a nap, you don't, you, do? to, yeah, you don't have to worry about like somebody stealing your stuff or something. They're just like really comfortably on their phone or they're even taking a nap. You feel very safe. Right. To yeah. travel even by yourself, I think. Yeah, travel by yourself. The only thing yourself. you have to know the direction, you know, because if you don't speak Korean, be able to get around. Mm. But and that's a really plus thing because I see a lot of things can happen on subway. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I always hear. And also, the one thing is, I notice they're very quiet. Like they don't, they don't talk. Everybody. Yeah, that you can quiet. also take a nap. I mean, one thing you can get on a subway here at night time, you don't fear uh, something could happen to right. you because of the safety. Oh, yeah. But I don't think I would ever, ever go on a subway and by at night time by, night, by yeah. myself in New York or somewhere else. Right. You know. So you can use train 24 hours a day? Uh, no, but I think the average time is like around 12 o'clock in the morning or 11.30 that the subway will stop. And then it opens up again, I believe like around 4.30 or 5 a.m. It depends on the subway line, I think. Army, what is that? Is that the Wi-Fi? Uh, yeah. They have free Wi-Fi on the subway system. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's one of the nice things about Korea is Number one, they have Wi-Fi almost everywhere, and the internet in Korea is like fastest in the world. Really? Yeah. Wow. Also, even in the event that you lost something in here, all you have to do is you call the lost and found of the subway station, tell them the car number that you're on. So if you say that number, they know you're in this car, huh. and then they'll check and they'll find whatever you lost. So when they call and then it can still be there, like your, your wallet, wallet for or example. everything? Yeah, it should definitely. be there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's go. You want to try some Korean tea? Korean tea? And yeah, what I is, think it's what really is, unique. Uh, the smoothie? Smoothie. Yeah. How about like a uh, oong cha? I think that's a really unique taste. Tea? Yeah, it's a tea. Oh, no. mm. <laughs> it's good. How does it taste? Yeah, it is. I like it because it's not sweet. It's not sweet. Yeah. Let's try it. Wanna try it? Give it a shot. So this is also probably very healthy because it's made of this root. 100% mm. made in Korea. Smells they interesting. Have this before? Mm. It's very mm. earthy. It tastes like an uh, earthy taste. I always thought the like... The good thing is it has no sugar in it. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can take this off now. I got it. 
<laughs> the card is really convenient. You can use it for every product you want. Here, right? Yeah. And so we arrived at the station. Now our Costco adventure begins. All right. You excited Hi. to see what Costco in Korea is like? Yes, because that's one of the places that I always it. shop back home. <laughs> and I love Costco. I want to see if the system is the same. 